Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, gamers and gamers from all around the world. Welcome to my channel. This will be a something new video. I'm gonna call Best Buy and to see what's up with the Best Buy credit card update, seeing if we get first dibs on PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And speaking of PlayStation, here's my ugly sweater of PlayStation. So I'm representing Sony. <laughs> all right, guys, hopefully everyone's having a great day. It's November 1st, it is raining outside. And it is really, really cold. That's why I got this this hoodie on. Not hoodie, but, you know, a beanie, beanie hat, right? That's what we call it. All right, let me call. I'm going to put him on speaker so you guys could hear. Oops. Call. Okay, let me put it on speaker. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. Best Buy. Best Buy. Para Español, marca nueve. No, I want English. I see you've placed a few orders with us recently. Are you calling about those? No. No problem. Thank you for being a total tech support member. Are you calling about troubleshooting technical support or repair? No, just customer service. Okay, just tell me what I can help you with. Mm, Pre-orders. Sure. Have you already placed your order? No. What's the general category for the product you're looking to buy? Say TV, home theater, large appliance, cell phone, computers, tablets, connected smart home, or say it's none of those. It's none of those. We're unable to assist with purchasing or product availability over the phone. To make a purchase, please visit bestbuy.com, your local store. Customer service, please. you want to talk to someone i'll get a best buy team member to help you out your call may be recorded and monitored thank you i got a lot of, i got a lot to do if man. you're reaching out about the new xbox series we're obviously seeing a lot of excitement so you may notice some delays as you're trying to pre-order keep checking back on bestbuy.com for more updates thanks for your patience well they say the thanks xbox. for calling they said xbox but not playstation so let's see if it's confirmed that credit card. Thank you for calling to Best Buy. My name is Salvador. How may I assist you today? Um, yes, I have a question about the PlayStation 5. Is it true that Best Buy credit card holders will get first dibs on the pre-orders? Uh, yes, in this case on the pre-orders, the pre-order was made on September in this situation. So we have to wait for further updates on BestBuy.com in this case. Uh, aside from that, we have we're going to have both units available for purchase online or on retail store until November 12th. That is the release date for this item in this case. So you're gonna have some in stock on launch day, right? Online. Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's correct. But I thought uh, Best Buy credit card holders would get first first place to order it. Is that true? Because that's what an employee told me when I went to my local Best Buy. in this situation and how would that work yes in this situation we need to place the order on the launch date for this item in this case and when we place the payment method in this case we choose the best buy card and then we'll, the order will proceed to make the purchase for this item in this case so it'll be easier access for me right yes that's correct oh okay okay just want to make sure thank you very much for your help um salvador right Awesome. All right. Um, you've been really helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming to Best Buy and have a wonderful day. Y'all turn. Stay safe. All right, gamers and gamers. Later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so you heard it, folks. I called Best Buy customer service and he said Best Buy credit card holders get first dips. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe on launch. He said the date November 12 or 13. If you go to the website, it probably is going to give you an option. Again, you're gonna have to wait for that day, but I just wanted to confirm. He confirmed it. He's the Best Buy technical support. It's a 1-800 number, 1-888-237-8289. That's the, wait, can you guys see it? Well, I don't think you guys, oh, there we go. If I do like this, well, you can see it. And there you have it. So Best Buy credit card holders gets first dips. I don't know how's that gonna work. So you just have to wait on the launch day on the website and hopefully you'll be able to secure your own PlayStation 5. Now, I didn't ask for the Xbox. 
Let me do, call them again. <laughs> All right, let me see if I get a different represent representative. And let me ask the same question, but this time it's going to be for an Xbox. I forgot, dude. Uh, customer service, please. Let's go on. I see you've placed a few orders with us recently. No. Are you calling? No problem. Thank you for being a total tech support member. Are you calling about troubleshooting technical support or repair? No. Okay. Just tell me what I can help you with. Uh, customer service, please. I understand you want to speak with someone. Yes. Our Best Buy team Which of these are you calling about? None of the Today, above. Right? You're not calling about any of those, right? No. Sorry, let's try again. Say, my order, or press 1. Customer service. I understand you want to talk to someone. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Your call may be recorded and monitored. You just got to keep saying customer service, customer service, until they finally Thanks purchase someone. So I'm asking for the Xbox Series X, S, and PS5. Less than seven minutes. If you seven prefer minutes. not to wait, many issues can be resolved through BestBuy.com. Thank you for your patience. Wow, seven minutes. The other one just took, like, less than a minute. Well, if you guys want to wait, you guys could wait, or you could fast forward. It's up to you guys. So, I'm going to ask, I should have written this down, because I usually tend to forget things. I forgot at the early, the first call that it was about the PlayStation 5, but not the Xbox Series X or S. I forgot to tell the gentleman. Yeah, he was a cool guy, Salvador. If you're watching this, hopefully in the future, thanks, man. You're not only helping me, but you're helping my viewers, my YouTube support, uh, subscribers, and YouTubers from all around the world. So, thank you. <laughs> Remember, drink your lemon with water every morning. It is good. I got used to it. So I got some new design. Well, not design, but I got some new stuff on my background. I got my Call of Duty map for that work. I got that on Best Buy. When I used to work at Best Buy, they pre when you pre-order the Call of Duty Black War that War, the first one, you would get this in a box. And it's a wall scroll you just put it in your wall and I still have oh less than seven minutes thank you for calling this is for best buy and geeks but my name is john how may i direct your call uh yes i had a question about pre-orders on next gen consoles thank you let me call your go to gaming sales department thank you for calling this one awesome thank you so they connected me to geek squad i don't know if you're reaching out about the new Xbox series, we're obviously seeing a lot of excitement. Okay. So you may notice some delays as you're trying to pre-order. And then I have this awesome Majora's Mask. I got it from uh, Target. Oh, they already connected me. Got my Yoshi from Walmart. This baby from GameStop. Pikachu with a substitute. Hi, Edgar. I had a question regarding about the pre-orders of the Xbox Series X and Xbox S and the PS5. Um, the question is, since I'm a Best Buy credit card holder, I went to your local Best Buy and a cust and an employee told me that if you're a Best Buy credit card holder, you get first collect on the pre-orders when they go on sale on launch. Is that true? You get first dibs? Yes. And the pre-orders and the collection issue because well, it's uh, well don't want to provide you incorrect information. Sure. Just provide me some seconds and I will make a try to call for you, Mister. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks so much. All right, man. No, transfer me yes to another. It's okay. And so I got this one at my GameStop when I pre. I think it was days after I pre-ordered my PlayStation Five, and this Mew came from. Japan got it from a Japanese anime place. That sweater, ugly sweater, so Pikachu that my little my brother and my mom gave me. I think it was last year Christmas. And this fat Pikachu is the original. 
the original Pikachu. This was back in 1996. I got this at KB Toys. There was a Meowth as well and a Pikachu one. And I got the Pikachu one. This little banana, GameStop 2. This Bulbasaur, the main why I got it is because it's like a stress reliever when you squeeze on the on this little back. And I just, <laughs> I don't know, it just felt relaxed. When I was shopping at Target, I just put it in my shopping cart and then I just bought it. Black Panther, I'm sure you guys seen the Black Panther, my unboxing. And Kane, I had to put you somewhere, Kane. Got my Wii, got my PlayStation 4, PS5 accessories. And Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't know what he said, but... Have you heard about okay. Best Buy Total Tech Support? And the X... What I was saying? Xbox One? That's my Gears 5 no edition. They're connecting me. Well, may I have your first name, please? Yes. My first name is Jose. Last name, Martinez. Well, I have a question. It's just that pre-orders on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I just had a few questions. Okay, regarding an item? No, it's not regarding the item. It's just questions regarding about pre-orders. I want to see if it's true if, place, if credit card holders would get first dibs on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X S when they go on launch online. Um, regarding this, sir, I just need to contact our purchasing department who will further um, explain it to us, okay? Sure, thank you. They're just sending me one place to another. <laughs> oh, well, I don't blame them. It's, you just got to be patient. And what else? Mm. Minute. Your call may be recorded and monitored. Yeah, I think I pretty much said everything, right? My Thank switch dock is right there. We look forward to serving you. Oh, Most of our stores are open and may have limited hours. As always, we are following it's so hard, dude. and state guidelines. Well, and masks are required that's my switch dock. There we go. I have to Make buy another drawer for my PlayStation 5 and my if Xbox Series X. Excuse Keep me. checking back on BestBuy.com for more updates. Keep checking BestBuy.com for more updates. So you never know, guys. Oh, I forgot to mute this. Thanks for calling. All right, all right. Hopefully this is it. Let's get confirmation one last time. Uh, yes. I had a question. Is it true that if you're a Best Buy credit card holder, and when the PlayStation Five, Xbox Series X, and S go on sale on launch, you'll be the first one to get a hold on on them? What? Sorry, I can't barely hear you. Come again. Okay, so let me say it slowly. I'm sorry. If is it true that when PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X and S go on sale on launch day, if you're a credit card holder, are you able to secure one on first day? Well, um, I do apologize, sir, but as far as it is concerned, um, this is handled by. And advice and guidance. But were you able to view that on our website? No, I'm just asking you guys if it's true. All right. Okay, so to give you further assistance to that, I'll be connecting you to our salt and advice and guidance. Okay. okay. Thanks. But by the way, may I have your first and last name, sir? Jose uh, Martinez. Uh, I made that may up. May have your phone number? 703. Five seven eight nine four four nine. That's my GameStop number. I still know it from the top of my head. Thank you so much for that information. All right. But do you have a Best Buy card? Um, I mean, are you already a member of Best Buy, or do you have already an account? Yes, I already have an account. Yes. Great. Um, I tried to pull up your uh information, like your phone number, but it does not appear on the system. For verification purposes, what I have here right now is seven zero three. Five seven eight nine four four nine. Is it correct? Yes, but I just want to. I just want questions about the 
pre-orders information. I don't want to give out information, my personal information. Oh, I'm sorry about it. It's a great that's fine. I'll be connecting you to Schultz and advice from our uh, provider. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. So that's my GameStop number. I still know it because it's on top of my mind because I used to shop at that GameStop all the time when I was young. And <laughs> I don't want to give out my information on on camera. Plus, I don't want to edit it, everything. I just want to... too tiring to edit. I just woke up. And I decided to do this. I didn't know it was going to be this difficult, man. Jeez. I just want a simple question. Yes or no. But I got a lot of patience, so I'm chill. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a Duty like. increases in Best Buy .com demand. We are experiencing extended wait time. We will be with you as quickly as... Thank you for your patience. Wow. The first guy just helped me, gave me a great answer. I just want to get another confirmation about the Xbox this time, since I forgot to mention it on the first call. And how long are we into this video? We're at 16 minutes. <laughs> well, hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, oh, and Deadpool, of course, my poster. I love it. It says the greatest poster ever. Oh, they're connecting me. If they don't help me here, I'm hanging the call. Hello? Damn. What does that say? Yes, best poster ever. Deadpool himself with the unicorn and the dragon. That's pretty sweet. <gasps> Yo, they hanged up on me. What? No, nah, I'm calling them again. I want to get answers, yo. I see you've placed a few orders with us recently. Are you calling about those? No. No problem. Thank you for being a total tech support member. Are you calling about troubleshooting technical support or repair? No. Okay, just tell me what I can help you with. Customer service. Sorry, can you briefly tell me what you're calling about again? Help. Customer service. I understand you want to speak with someone. Yes. Just connect me. Video games. Video games. Sorry, one more time. For help with an order, press 1. My Best Buy rewards, press 2. Tech support, press 3. A repair, press 4. A protection plan, press 5. Your credit card, press 6. For information about one of our stores, press 7. Or if it's none of those, press 8. Just a minute. Your call may be recorded and monitored. Wow. Thanks for calling. I was going to take this long. Your estimated wait time is less than three minutes. We look forward to talking with you soon. Cool. So, I forgot what I was saying, guys, about the poster, what else. Um, if you made it this far, I do appreciate, you know, the patience. I'm doing this for each and every one of you, and as well for me. I want to secure another PlayStation 5, and I hope each and every one of you secures their own PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. Mm. What can I say? <clears throat> yeah, they're just transferring back and forth. I might do a Target, GameStop, Walmart, Amazon. Depending how this video does. <laughs> I'm doing place on um, Best Buy because I have a Best Buy credit card holder, so I just want to get this confirmation. So the first gentleman told me it's correct. I'm calling again just to make sure. Maybe he was just saying that because he didn't have an answer. But the gentleman at uh, Best Buy store told me it was correct. He told me, he actually told me, so I want verification, I want proof confirmation. Um, You know what? No, actually not. While we wait, well, actually, what if I, no, I was going to do an unboxing, but what if they, um, connect me to a represent, see what I'm saying? I almost talk, talk real slowly. Thank you for calling the switchboard from Best Buy and Geekspot. My name is Gary. How may I enter your code? Uh, for video games, please. Uh, yes, you want to purchase?
question? No, just had a question. Thank, thank you. You too. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. They keep connecting me to Geek Squad. Hmm, wonder why. Well, hopefully this time they'll connect me. Thank you very much for patience, guys. Thank you for calling Best Buy. We look forward to serving you. Most of our stores are open and may have limited hours. I should call. As always, we are following CDC and state guidelines. I'm gonna call that Best Buy store. Shopping in any of our stores. I'm gonna do that. Please check BestBuy.com for additional details regarding your store. Okay. If you're reaching out about the new Xbox series, we're obviously seeing a lot of excitement. So you may notice some delays as you're trying to pre-order. Keep checking back on So BestBuy.com I want to do an unboxing of this. Thanks for your patience. I still have this, guys. I bought this at my local Costco. Um, oh, they're connecting me. And I was going to do an unboxing, but not right now. Um, so I just had a question regarding about the PlayStation 5 Xbox Series XS pre-orders. If you're a Best Buy credit card holder, is it true that you get first buy on those on launch day online? Um, it, let me just check to verify the information. Thank you. Wow, 20 minutes, guys. Wow. I put them on mute so they can't hear me. Um, what was I going to say? So I bought that at Costco. For what? Oh, I'm going to call my local Best Buy. The one that gentleman that told me about that. I think he's a manager, so I'm going to talk to him and get him on the phone so I could get a good confirmation from that guy. Because when I went to go to get my iMac, I saw him there. And I was going to tell him, but he was busy. So I didn't want to bother him. He was helping another customer. All right. I'm just waiting, guys. So just for a quick question, um, where did you were able to get that information from? Um, Just a website. I was just curious if it was true. Just a simple question, man. Even if you don't know, just say no. I don't know, and that's it. Well, she's doing her job, so I, I respect that. She's trying to locate that information, but I just want to make her job difficult than what it is. Just want confirmation from Best Buy if it's true. I hope you guys can hear it. Okay, sir. Actually, I was um, making some questions, and we haven't received any kind of information of that sort, but uh, usually promotional plans or um, this kind of information of preference are also sent on the within the email address of each customer or they're prompt in the bestbuy.com official website. So if you would like, you can have further information. Stay tuned to see if we get any further news. But as for now, um, we're not seeing any information related to that, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you've been real helpful. That's all I wanted to know. You too. Happy Sunday. Take care. Bye. So now she tells me that's it's no. It's false. Hmm. I don't know who's telling the truth, guys. Should I even call that other location? All right. If you want to end, if you don't want to watch no more, you don't have to watch. So one guy told me yes. The next guy told me no. Let me call that Best Buy. And let's 
see if I could reach out to the manager or just a video game specialist. Thanks for calling Best Buy in Potomac Yard. We're open today until 8 o'clock p.m. and tomorrow between 10 a.m. Hey, on and a 8 Sunday? I thought it closed early on Sundays. If you know the extension you want, just press the pound key. Otherwise, what can I help you with? Video game specialist. Sorry, can you briefly tell me what you're calling about again? Video games specialist. Let's try this a different way. Which of these are you calling about? Say, my order, my best buy rewards, tech support, repairs, protection plans, credit card, or store information. Or say, none of those. None of those. Just a minute. We're currently experiencing hold times to speak with a team member, but you don't need to wait on the phone for answers to top holiday questions. All right. Visit bestbuy.com. So if they don't answer me within five minutes, I'm giving up. Because if it takes that long, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, I forgot what I was saying earlier. So... I want to see who's right or who's wrong. The first person told me it's right. The second person told me it's wrong. They don't know. And now I'm calling the store that I went to to see if I can get a great confirmation. So you want to get that PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S. And based on the customer employee that told me, if you're a Best Buy credit card holder, you get first dibs. So I want to see if that's correct. Hopefully it's not busy. Oh yes, so I was talking about this. I got this at my local Costco's, but keep in mind this was like five years ago. And shout out to my ex-girlfriend, she bought me this. <laughs> I still have it. Um, yeah, regular it cost $54.99, but for Costco it was $30, I think. And I want to do the unboxing, but I was waiting to my channel Maybe if I reach 100 subscribers, I'll do a special unboxing. I guess this can be it, right? I think I will do it, but I want to read it so bad because I've been to my bookstore, Barnes & Noble, and I've seen that they're coming out with bigger, with one, two, three set in one book. So three volumes in one book. And I wanted to read it, but no, I'm not gonna read it. And I want to get the next one. It's, the, I think it's the gold and silver. Cause this one is, adventure of red blue and yellow right and it has a poster too guys <gasps> if you can see it let me see i'm sorry i'm just this there we go it brings a poster it has pikachu poly world bulbasaur and red trainer red right yes and i could probably put it right there or right there or right there. So I want to put more, since I'll be doing a lot of recording from now on. Let's see how many minutes we're in the video. 28 minutes, guys. Wow. I thought this was going to take less than 10 minutes. Just give him a call and see what's up. But no. If you made it this far, I am thankful, guys, for staying. I do appreciate the love, the support. Thank you very much, man. I really, really, really appreciate it. So we're at two minutes and 40 seconds. So another two minutes and 20 seconds, and we'll see. Um, oh, and, oh, I didn't, didn't have my controller. Mm, give me once, yep. Where's my remote control? No. Where's my TV remote control? Because I wanted to do something, but if I can't find it, then what's the point? Jeez, where did I put it last night? No, that's not it. Well, sorry. It's because I I got this. And I got this. I think at Target. You put batteries and link lights up when you press when you press the button. Yeah, it repress this button. But I can't find some batteries. It requires AAA battery. 
Yeah, it requires two AAA batteries. And I, I think my controller, uh, give me one second while I look. I'll be right back. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I can't find my controller, guys. Man, where did it go? Was I even watching TV last night? I was watching TV last night, but I'm just not, not sure where to put it. Hmm. Well, I guess I cannot find it. Um, well, in the meantime, let's do this unboxing. Look, I found this at Target, at my local Target, and it cost me only one cent at the time. But the lady wanted to ring me up for $10. So, because when I ring it up in the um, self-checkout, not self-checkout, but the price match, I love the price match. You know where they have those, um, those price checkers? It rang one cent. And the lady wanted to ring me $10. So we waited, we waited, we waited, we waited for the manager who never came. And I bought two of these. The lady said, you know what, just take two of them. I gave one to my little brother and I got one for myself. And then I went the next day and they took it out. They had like seven of them. I don't think the lady would have given me all of them. So let's do an unboxing. All right, just, uh... oh man, I don't want to unbox this, but I could think I could put it somewhere here. To have it like a, can I tear this out? Cause it's beautiful. Nope, unfortunately it's stuck there. Yeah, look, they really damaged it. So this, this is a lunchbox promotion that came with the game, I believe, of Mario Maker 2, when you pre-ordered it at Target. Target looks a lot of great stuff when you pre-order. Check that out. Wow, look at that. It's my lunchbox. And it only cost me one cent. I was lucky enough to get this, guys. I was going to put my 3DS console in games, but what if I start collecting lunchbox? Because I know Batista, he collects lunchbox. I'm a big fan of Batista, and I was reading in his book or watching the video that he collects lunchbox. So look at that, guys. That is beautiful. So I guess this is an unboxing of of Super Mario Maker 2 lunchbox. <laughs> Wait, now I got more trash. Um, where's my trash bag? It's over there. I just put on my bed. Oh, so it's been seven minutes. You know what? Let's wait three more minutes, ten minutes. Might as well. And it's freaking hot. I'm getting hot. Drinking water. So if they don't pick up, then it means no. We just have to wait, guys, for what? Less than a week? No, we're less than a week. End days. I think we're nine days away from the next-gen console. Next. Let's see. Okay. And check um, Warrior64 on Twitter. He posts a lot of great content, especially got good stuff on sale. For example, right now, I'm going to go to his Twitter. And... Got an email. Buy one, get one, 50% off on GameStop. Oh, GameStop gave me another $5 reward membership today for it being the first of the month. I'm just checking Warrior. Any good deals? Nope, not really. Well, he posts, he usually posts great deals. Um, and the other one is Cheap Ass Gamers. Let's see what they have here. Save $10 when you spend $50 on select Lego via Amazon. Oh, nice. That's really sweet. But I'm not going to collect no more Legos, Super Mario, no nothing Legos. I don't have enough space. I have my Lego. Here, I want to show you guys. Let me show you one second. I just don't know where to put it in my room. <clears throat> and it's already falling apart. Look. Check that out. This is what I built. And oh, there was the Mario. 
Look, it's already falling apart. The uh. And where's my enemies? I know the oh the bombs here. Bowser Jr. is there. Can you guys see it? I'm sorry if you can't. Yep. And let's turn Mario on. Oh wait, this guy has two double A battery, right? Or just one? But I need a screwdriver. Here. Let's see. Oh, you guys hear the music? You hit a Goomba. Oh, this is the music. Let me lower you guys. Does it change? I want to get some fire. He gets burned. And then when you reach the line, the end finish line. So this is supposed to go here. We won, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's turn you off. Later, Mario. How do you take the battery off? Because I know that this has... So yes, with all these sets, guys, it's already falling apart. And what I think I'm going to do is take it apart and put it back in the box. Because I didn't throw away the box. I just don't have enough space to put a lot anywhere, you know? Hopefully when I move and I get a bigger place. Maybe if I get a house one day, I'll be able to secure it. Put it in the video game room. Um, I know I have a screwdriver around here somewhere, because when I was building my... One second, guys. I'm sorry. Wait. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I got my screwdriver. But don't tell me it requires a small screwdriver. Um, so, sweet. I could take it out. Perfect. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Mario's battery off from this one. Then I'm putting my Zelda link. And I'm doing this while I wait for the customer service. <gasps> it worked. Always have a screwdriver. You never know when you're going to need it. You see? Just be careful, man. Don't hurt your eyes with it. Going to use your battery for a second, Mario. Shout out to my mom for giving me these AAA batteries. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on here, guys. So this video was worth something. Of course, it's worth the. Uh, how many minutes are we in? Thirty-eight minutes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, hopefully, you're having a good time. <gasps> Will it work? Wow! Look at that. What? Let me remove the light from this one. Wait, can you see it? Let me see. I'm farther away. Sorry, my room's a mess. Like I said, I was cleaning up, and I when did I build this desk on Friday, or was it on Thursday? And then ever since that, I have not enough time to clean my room, my floor. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's not. Maybe because it's so bright. Well, it just lights up. I don't know why you couldn't see it before, but before you could, here, let me block the camera. Nope, I guess you can't. Well, it lights up. It still works, so let's put the battery back in Mario and let's put him away. Or actually, what if I just not put the battery back because I'm not going to use Mario. I might use that little lamp instead. So yeah, that's the main goal for me today, just to clean up just the small space, make some room. Because I want to get myself a video game chair as well. But I don't wait for Black Friday deals, you know?
And I'm gonna guess I'm gonna clean this up today. Okay, so I put his thing batteries away, not his batteries away, but Mario don't have batteries no more, so he go away. And I'm gonna leave links. Guys, it's been 10 minutes. Alright, I'm done. They're not picking up, guys. So sorry. Well, thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far, guys, I do appreciate it. And I kept the battery in the Lynx night light. Here, let me turn off this light. I don't know. Well, if you guys made it this far, thank you. I do appreciate it with all my heart. Hopefully, everyone's having a great time. God bless each and every one of you. And I hope this video was helpful. Thank you, guys. Talk to you later. Peace out. All right, let me stop it. Bye.